Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 2 Volhall's Revenge, uh, where we're in the bathroom because I didn't save at the end of the last episode. So <laughs> we're going to leave the bathroom and we're going to head back up to the first floor because I think we need to find a way to get onto that upper platform. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that, please. Uh, do we need to... Yep, button. Let me in. And that's why you make sure you save at the end of every episode, just so things like that don't happen. So, some knowledge from Turian there for you guys, because that, that was always just going to happen, wasn't it? It's, it's like it was cursed to happen. Right, okay, it's behind me this time, so we should be good. Uh, I think we can outrun it. I think we move just as fast as it does. Yeah, we should be fine. I think we can get into the elevator before it gets here, I hope. Uh, yep, okay, press button one. See you later. Right, up to floor one we go. Also, I've been told that um, the Xenomorph kiss thing actually kills you after a little while, so it's quite lucky that we, we ended up um, loading up and coming back because that could have ended horribly. Uh, right, let's, um, let's name this uh, back to floor one, I guess. Back to floor one. Um, so we need to find a way to get onto this lower sort of ledge here that you can see. The only way I think we're going to be able to do that is to go down here and figure out this puzzle. Which, this thing. But it puts up little barriers when we move. So we can move up and down, but as soon as we move like this, a barrier springs up before us. So can we push the barrier or anything? Forget it. Um, look at barrier. The barrier looks very sturdy. The bear a smooth finish. That doesn't even make sense. Very that It should say they bear. Um, uh, can we climb the barrier? Who are you? The human fly. Thank you for that sarcastic response. Um, destroy. I mean, destroy is probably too complicated for the text parser. Yeah, I don't understand. Uh, right, do we have anything that can help us here? Toilet paper, glass cutter, maybe we can use the glass cutter on the barrier? I don't, I don't think, I don't think that it's glass, but we can give it a go. On barrier. Say what? No, okay, so that's not a thing. Uh, cage key, key card, empty spore, glowing gem, plunger, waste basket, lighter. Dialect translator, can we use, oh, okay, that was weird. Uh, use the lighter on, I don't know, the barrier? Don't understand. Use lighter. There isn't much fuel. You might want to save it. Okay, that seems like it's the game hinting something. Uh, glowing gem. I honestly don't know what to do here. Another barrier. You feel the floor. Right. Let's try. Let's try looking at the floor. Look floor. The floor is moving. Beneath it is what you guess to be a pool of highly lethal liquid. Uh, can we climb the barrier? No. Open door. Forget it. Push button. Is there even a button around? It does not compute. Uh, we tried sort of hanging around over here, didn't we? And we just fall in. Hold breath. Not right now. <laughs> and we fell in anyway. Uh, okay, so... Right, we're dead anyway. <laughs> oh, how are we going to do this? Also, I might want to save a bit further along, I think, just outside the door. There's got to be a way of getting through this. There's got to be. There's nothing... To... Hang on. Let's save. Uh, we'll call it back to floor one again there. There's nothing to the left, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we can't get across anywhere here. It's just the other elevator. Yeah. But we definitely need to get onto this lower platform here because there's little doors there on the left and right, which I think we can go through. So it's it must be something to do with this through here. There's got to be a way we can maybe not fall into the, to the acid stuff. Right. So the barrier springs up. The barrier springs up again. Right. The floor moves. Right. What do we have here? Supporter, because the, the inventory's bailed us out so many times, so it's got to be something to do with the the thing. Let's Okay, let's do look around. You're in the attractive tube-shaped region of the asteroid. At the moment, walls, doors, and barriers seem to be surrounding you. The floor is moving. Beneath it is a brightly coloured liquid. Um, jam floor? don't understand jam. Um, 
Right, so it's got to be an inventory item. Support, oh, can we use, no, the support is not like a, like a life jacket or anything, is it? Uh, toilet paper, I don't think that's going to help. Glass cutter, we tried. Cage key, key card, go in gem, plunge your waist. I mean, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit stuck, I'll be honest. Um, can we use the waste basket? How would you like to do that? use waste basket on acid? Don't understand. Uh, use waste bas basket. It's currently not one of your options. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. This is problematic. Very problematic. Um. Right. Let's let's try. It. It's got to be something we've got. It's got to be. So let's. Right. We'll come over here. So let's go through our things. We haven't used the supporter, but I don't think that's going to come in handy. We've used the whistle already. I don't think that's going to work. The toilet paper is just not going to work here. The glass cutter, we've tried and that didn't work. The cage key, again, we've used that already. I don't think that's going to be useful. The key card and the empty spore, again, are not going to work. The glowing gem is a light source, so I don't think that's going to work. The plunger, maybe. The waste basket, we tried, it didn't work. The lighter, I mean, maybe we can throw the lighter into the acid to burn it. And the dialect translator and the puzzle are, are just not going to work. I think the puzzle I was told actually can be used earlier in the game when that um, Tasmanian devil creature was there. Um, so it's got to be the plunger or the lighter, surely. Uh, so let's use the lighter on acid. Let's not compute. Use plunger. Ex explain further. Use plunger on acid. Don't don't. Use plunger on floor. Forget it. Use use plun. Okay, we're out of time. So it's something to do with the plunger then, because it said explain further, right? So unless it's another one of those things where the game trolls you, it's got to be something to do with the the plunger. So uh, let's try it again. Uh, use plunger on barrier. Say what? Use plunger on door. Forget it. Use plunger on ceiling. No. Use plunger on wall. Say what? Uh, use plunger. Explain further. So we've got to use the plunger, but... Oh, no. Maybe it's because I'm doing use. So maybe... Maybe the, it's the term use again. Uh, so, okay, rather than use, put plunger on floor. Let's don't say we did. Put plunger on barrier. <gasps> Using, okay, nice. Using formerly uncharacteristic creativity, you apply the suction cup like plunger to the smooth metal finish and hang on for dear life. Once a janitor, always a janitor. We did it! Right, so we had to hang on to the smooth barrier wall then. Alright, so we figured out what to do then. Nice. And also we got 10 points for that, which is good. So, the question is, what do we... You can hang on no longer. Your grip weakens. No! No! What the hell game? No, come on. <laughs> that is not fair. So do we have to move with it or something? That is not that is not fair. I'm sorry. Maybe so maybe we have to use the plunger like and like stick it back on the wall and climb up or something. All right, let's let's do it again. Put plunger on barrier. Okay, so Come on, floor. Hurry up. Right, so we're, we're stuck on the wall here. We should be good. We don't seem to be able to move. I'm pressing the arrow keys and nothing is happening. So that can't be it. Right. Right, that time we fell in quicker, so I wonder if it's a time limit then. I'm sure that time we went quicker. So maybe... Hang on. So maybe what we need to do is hang on maybe what we need to do is if it's a time limit perhaps we need to leave it as late as possible uh not use put plunger on 
barrier. So let's wait till it's like right near us then and see if this works. If not, there's obviously a way you've got to sort of like jump and move with it. Right, okay. Here we go. Let's see if this makes any difference at all. Yes, okay, it's gone back. It's gone back, nice. So, okay, we got 10 more points for that. So the points are flying up now. Uh, okay, do we... Do we, do we just do like get down? Get down, say what? Let go of plunger. You release your grip and drop back down. Oh, the, oh, did we get the plunger back? We did not get the plunger back. Okay, so that's a thing. Anyway, uh, survived acid, I guess. Oh, I can't believe that worked. That was cool. Right, um, left or right, I guess, is the question. Let's go left. Oh, dear God, no, we do not want to go left. What is that thing? You have made the mistake of getting within the looks to be a... What? You've made the mistake of getting within what looks to be a cattle prod's length of the metal menace. An electrical contact connected to an extension arm reaches from its body and makes contact with you. That's when you begin feeling the intense burst of electrical current pulsing through your body. You quickly black out. Yay! As you can see, you amount to little more than a hill of laser fried beans. <laughs> You've come. laser fried beans. You've come a long way only to be torched. Keep up the fine work. Alright, well, we're not going left then. We're going right. Left, it turns out, is a death trap of some sort of robot thing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please t tell me it doesn't follow us here. Oh, it does. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, it can't follow us up here. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Right, so... No, it's still here. Can we, like... Right, it's, it just stops if we get on the stairs. Oh, no, okay, it's back. Right. Oh, God, how are we going to get past that thing? So we've got past the this sort of acid pool, but this now we've got some weird sort of robots after us. Can we make them maybe fight each other? Like if we get if we get them both to come out. What? How was it instantly there? What happened there? That was that was kind of weird. Anyway, let's see let's see if we can get them to Right, let's see. If we go really fast this way, can we get the other robots to come out and maybe they'll fight each other or something? Hello? Do you want to fight another robot? Okay, it doesn't look like it does want to fight another robot. Run away! Oh, okay, right, we made it. Cool. Alright, so... There's got to be something down here, surely? An attractive tube-shaped region of the asteroid. I don't... Look around. This section of corridor is lined with wall bots. There is a door to the right. Oh, I see. So there is a door somewhere. The question is, how do we get past this thing? We don't seem to be able to sort of run around it. Um, look around. Section okay, it's just wall bots here, so I'm guessing we need to then find a way of getting past that one on the right. The question is how the hell do we do that? How on earth are we gonna do this? Look around. You're in an attractive tube shaped region of the asteroid. Brilliant. Um Look around. This section of the corridor is lined with wall bots. There is a door to the right. Look door? Looks very door-like. Fantastic. Thanks for that. Um, oh my god, what do we do here? So we can't lure them into each other. Wow, this is really difficult. Um, I was feeling really smug when we solved that acid thing, but all of a sudden... <laughs> this is not great, is it? Um... I mean, it hasn't opened up anything up here, has it, that we can... No, okay. 
So there's no new ways open because we did the acid pool thing. Anything over to the left now? No. Wow. Um, huh. I am very confused. Jeez, I wonder what we've got to do there. So we've got to find a way past this robot, basically, haven't we? Um, dialect translator, maybe? I mean, that's literally the only thing I can think of out of all those items. Maybe the dialect translator will let us talk to it. I don't know. Uh, okay, then, guys, we'll leave it there. We made some progress, but now... Um we are quite stuck. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit on that like button, and I'll see you all next time.